Your person, the individual who holds a special place in your life, has always perceived you as being remarkably different from those they are typically accustomed to. This difference isn't seen as a divergence, but rather as a unique characteristic that sets you apart in their eyes. It's this distinctiveness, this divergence from the norm, that draws them towards you, like a moth to a flame. They find themselves inexplicably attracted to your individuality, your uniqueness, and your divergence from the type they usually encounter. In their eyes, you are the only one they envision in a romantic context. They have no interest in seeking romance elsewhere. Their focus, their attention, their entire romantic capacity is directed towards you. They are not looking elsewhere, not seeking anyone else's affection. You are their sole romantic interest. However, they understand the importance of healing, of mending their own wounds before approaching you. They are completely focused on this healing process, on nurturing their own well-being so they can present their authentic self to you. They are not rushing this process, not trying to hasten their healing. They understand the importance of taking the time they need to heal properly. They are willing to wait, to be patient, to take as much time as they need to align their energy with yours. They understand that this alignment is crucial for a harmonious relationship. They are not rushing this alignment, not trying to force their energy to sync with yours. They are willing to wait, to be patient, to allow this alignment to occur naturally. Having experienced their share of karmic cycles, they have learned valuable lessons. They have understood the consequences of their actions, the effects of their decisions. They are now ready to make the right choices, to take the right actions. They are prepared to do the right things, to make decisions that will positively impact their life and yours. Your presence in their life acts as a catalyst, sparking a surge of motivation and ambition within them. They feel a renewed sense of purpose, a heightened drive to achieve their goals. They are receiving clear signs, unmistakable indications that it's time to leave their old life behind, to embark on a new journey. They've noticed a significant change when they are near you or when they communicate with you. Their creative energy, which may have been dormant or suppressed, begins to flow more freely. This increased flow of creative energy is a clear indication of the deep connection between you both. It shows how deeply intertwined your lives are, how profoundly connected you both are. Despite the intensity of these feelings, you maintain a silent and distant demeanor. You are not imposing your decisions on them, not trying to influence their choices. Instead, you are allowing them the space to make their own decisions, to choose their own path. This approach demonstrates your maturity, your understanding of the importance of personal choice. You have set boundaries, clear lines that should not be crossed. These boundaries are not meant to restrict them, but rather to guide them, to help them understand the importance of respecting personal space. These boundaries are pushing them to move beyond their immature energy, to grow and mature. Your silent strength and mature approach are helping them understand the importance of personal growth and maturity. This is the journey you both are on, a journey of growth, understanding, and deep connection. I am deeply sorry for crossing your boundaries and letting you down. I am aware that I have made mistakes, and I now comprehend the full extent of my actions. I don't want to continue causing you pain, which is why I've chosen to keep my distance. Instead of confronting you directly, I've decided to observe you from afar, to watch you live your life without my interference. I ask others about you, about how you're doing, about what's new in your life. I do this because I'm afraid to speak to you directly. I fear that my words, my presence, might cause you more pain, and that's the last thing I want. My past actions, my stupidity, have already caused enough damage. I can't bear the thought of ruining our connection any further. You deserve so much more than what I can offer you at this moment. You deserve love, respect, and happiness, and I'm painfully aware that I'm not in a position to provide these things right now. This realization haunts me, and it's a thought that often crosses my mind. I worry that someone else might come into your life and offer you the love that I wish to give. 
the love that I believe you deserve. Your energy is something that I'm drawn to. It's vibrant, it's captivating, and I want it all to myself. I know it's selfish, but I can't help but feel that no one else deserves you. No one else can appreciate you the way I do. Your essence, your very being, is incredibly attractive. It's not just about your physical appearance, but about who you are as a person. The way you carry yourself, with such grace and confidence, is something that I admire. The way you walk, each step filled with purpose, is something that I find fascinating. The way you talk, your words, your voice, everything about you captivates me. I find myself studying everything about you, trying to understand you better, trying to know you on a deeper level. And the more I learn about you, the more I love you. Every little detail, every little quirk, every little habit, I love them all. They make you who you are, and I wouldn't change a thing. I know I've made mistakes, and I know I've hurt you. But I want you to know that my feelings for you are genuine. I care about you, and I only want what's best for you. I hope that one day, I can make things right. I hope that one day, I can be the person you deserve. But until then, I'll continue to watch you from a distance, continue to ask about you, continue to love you from afar. Because that's what you deserve, and that's what I can offer right now. Hurting you was the most regrettable action I have ever taken. It was a moment of profound sorrow, a moment that I wish I could erase from our shared history. The realization of what I have lost in the aftermath of my actions is a bitter pill to swallow. I find myself engulfed in a sea of remorse and longing, missing your presence in my life more than words can express. Every time I look into your eyes, I see a reflection of the pain that I have caused. It's a sight that fills me with an overwhelming sense of shame. I regret not giving our relationship the time and importance it deserved. Our connection was something unique, something special, and I failed to recognize its value. In the quiet moments of solitude, I often find myself talking about you. It's as if my mind is drawn to you, unable to let go of the memories we've created. Sometimes, just the mere thought of you is enough to bring a smile to my face. It's a testament to the impact you've had on my life. However, I'm not sure if you fully comprehend the depth of my feelings for you. Your actions and your honesty have painted a clear picture of the kind of person you are. You've shown me that you deserve someone who will treat you with respect and kindness, someone who will value you for who you are. You deserve a gentleman in your life, not a player or a manipulator who will take you for granted. You stand out from the crowd, different from any other woman I have met. Your kindness is like a beacon, guiding those around you. Your gentle nature is a breath of fresh air in a world that often seems harsh and unkind. You are dependable, a rock in the stormy seas of life. Every interaction with you leaves me feeling loved and appreciated. Even the smallest things I do for you are met with gratitude. It's a feeling that warms my heart, a feeling that makes every moment spent with you worthwhile. I want to express my deepest apologies for the pain I have caused. I hope that one day, I can make amends for my actions and prove to you that I have changed. Until then, I will hold on to the memories of our time together, cherishing each moment as a reminder of what I have lost and what I hope to regain. You are truly unique, and I am grateful for having had the chance to know you.